The Supreme Election Board, YSK, has announced that snap elections will take place on November.1, once President Recep Tayyip Erdogan authorizes Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu to form the caretaker government. Speaking after a meeting at the institution, Sadi Given said a cabinet could not be formed following the 45-day period after the June 7 elections and President Erdogan's decision to go to the polls according to the 104th and 116th Articles of the Constitution. Our Supreme Board decided in today's meeting, taking the upcoming winter season into account, that the 26th term general elections will be held on Monday, November 1, 2015 in accordance with the 79th and 116th Article of the Constitution and the 8th and 9th Article of Law No. 2839, he said. Given also indicated that one of the parties demanded that elections take place on November 8, and said, however, our Supreme Board found November 1st appropriate considering the climate of conditions in the eastern and southeastern parts of the country. We have used the authorization of organizing the elections with peace and order, given by the Constitution's 79th article and decided to hold the elections on November 1st. Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu urged Turkey's opposition parties to assume their responsibilities on Tuesday and join an interim power-sharing government saying he would offer cabinet posts to their deputies even if party leaders objected. President Tayyip Erdogan earlier appointed Davutoglu to form an interim government to lead the country to a new election, after two months of coalition talks failed to produce a working government. Davutoglu has five days to form the interim cabinet and is obliged by the constitution to offer cabinet posts to opposition members. Candidates from outside parliament can fill the posts if the opposition turns them down. In a potential caretaker government, the Justice and Development AC, party will have 11 ministries, the second-placed Republican People's Party CHP, to have five while the Nationalist Movement Party MHP, and the People's Democratic People's Party, HDP, will get three ministries each. In addition, independent deputies will also get three ministries. However, the CHP and MHP have so far refused to take part in the caretaker government, whereas the HDP will take its share of three ministries in the upcoming caretaker government, the party's co-chair Salahattin Demirters said on Tuesday. CHP's spokesman Haluk Goes reiterated on Tuesday at a press conference that his party's deputies will not take part in the interim government to be formed by Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu. The MHP chairman Basli has also said on the same day that his party will not take part in the caretaker government. The winner of the election, the AK party gained 40.9% of the votes and 258 seats in the parliament. Leader of the AK party. Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu had to find a coalition partner to obtain a vote of confidence in the parliament to pass the 276-seat threshold in order to form a majority government. The government formation process began on July 9 with President Erdogan assigning the duty to form the 63rd government to Ahmed Davutoglu, as his party gained the most votes in the elections. The Turkish Premier met with the leaders of CHP. MHP and co-chairs of HDP as part of coalition talks. With no results from previous coalition negotiations, PM Davutoglu held exploratory talks with the CHP. As a grand coalition between the CHP and AK party yielded no results, Davutoglu held a second round of talks with the MHP. Nonetheless, the attempt to form an AK party MHP coalition also ended unsuccessfully. PM Davutoglu returned the mandate to form a government to President Erdogan five days before the deadline of the 45-day period to form a government. Davutoglu on Tuesday has received the mandate to form the caretaker government, ahead of renewed elections in November. The president had announced previously that the country will go to early polls on November 1, after efforts by political parties to form a coalition government failed. But the president officially called for new elections on Monday evening at around 10 p.m. following his four-hour meeting with the Speaker of Parliament, Ismit Yumaz.